Hello everyone, my name is Neeti and I am a functional nutritionist. I wanted to chime in today and give you some tools that I have in my nutrition toolkit that can help you on your path to recovery post-COVID. We'll be talking about food and supplements which are strong anti-inflammatory agents. So before we jump in, I wanted you to understand what is what exactly is happening in the body and respiratory system post-COVID so that you can understand how these tools can help. So the immune response that was activated uh, at the time of infection and afterwards has led to inflammation and cell destruction in the cells and other tissues in the body. And this ongoing dysregulated inflammatory activation is what is happening post-COVID and is responsible for the lingering inflammation and can lead to development of immune and metabolic disorders in the future. So how can we calm the immune system and break this cycle of ongoing inflammation? And uh, what can we do to lead you to the path of recovery after infection from nutrition point of view. So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you are some foods and supplements that can provide a strong anti-inflammatory effect to spark resolution and healing. So number one is protein. Protein is what powers the immune system and so it is a must. Protein is vital not only when the body is fighting the virus, but now to build and repair the body, body tissues and uh, heal. So immune system powerhouses are the antibodies and the immune system cells, they basically rely on protein. So if you can carefully incorporate protein in many or most of your meals, that will be a big boost uh, and help you with recovery. Number two is cruciferous vegetables. So cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy, cabbage, Brussels sprouts. So these, this, this is a very nutrient dense family and all of these vegetables uh, have strong anti-inflammatory properties. So th this is a, a go-to food that you want to consider including in your meals. I'll also be including a handout about cruciferous vegetables in the link below, which you can refer at your leisure. Number three are phytonutrient-rich foods. So what is a phytonutrient? Phytonutrient is a compound that is present in all plant-based foods. They are, uh, it's a different compound. There are tens of thousands of compounds. So they are present in green tea, ginger, garlic, turmeric, colorful fruits and vegetables, botanicals, you name it. All of them have a unique phytonutrient. So they have huge, huge immune boosting capabilities. So uh, there are so many to choose from, incorporate what you like. Uh, again, I'll be including a handout for this as well, since I want to leave you uh, on ways to incorporate in your, in your diet. Next up, I have some supplements. Uh, so these supplements, uh, the first one I wanted to talk to you about is called SPM Active. SPM Active is designed to help support body's natural capacity to respond to physical challenges and resolve the immune response. What it does is it's, it has been shown clinically uh, to reduce over inflammatory activation in lung tissue. And not only that, it also helps clear debris and allow tissue repair and healing. So it's a, it has a strong anti-inflammatory effect. Do check that out. Um, the another one I wanted to talk to you about is called immune active. Uh, what immune active has in its formulation is a high potency vitamin C, zinc, versatin, and acetylcysteine known as NAC, and EGCG, which is in green tea. What it does is, uh, what it does is it helps support a healthy immune response and also promotes antioxidant processes. And it is, it has been shown that um, the harmful effects associated with um, dysregulated inflammation and ongoing immune activation that is what it helps with and uh, that that is the reason i was recommending that one the other one uh, is called phytomulti what it is is it's a blend of um, vitamins minerals and phytonutrients what it does is it supports cellular health and overall wellness 
So here's the link if you'd like to purchase any of this. And also there is a promo, promo code uh, for new customers. To summarize, number one is protein. Number two are cruciferous vegetables. Number three are phytonutrient rich foods. And number four are supplements. Again, I'll be leaving you with two handouts for cruciferous vegetables and phytonutrient rich foods, and also a link to order supplements if you like. Again, hope all of this helps and I wish you a very fast recovery with these tools and other tools that you're implementing. Thank you.